Hi, I'm Noah Warner, Tactical Uplink Lead for the Mars Science Laboratory mission, and this is your Curiosity rover update. Curiosity is currently at the Rock Nest location inside Gale Crater. When we first arrived at Rock Nest, we performed a wheel scuff maneuver. This is our rover's version of kicking up the dirt with your hiking boot to determine if the Rock Nest area was indeed a good first scoop target. The first scoop was successfully performed on Sol 61, and the entire team was excited to see the mass cam images showing the scoop full of dirt, as well as the video of the vibration activities performed with the turret mounted tools. This vibration allows the team to level out and remove any excess sample before closing the scoop, and it also provides some insight into the makeup of the soil. Any large particles would tend to float up to the top as the entire sample is vibrated, much the same way you would shake out the marshmallows in your box of Lucky Charms. Looking carefully at images, the team noticed a bright object lying on the ground just in front of the rover. We typically call something like this FOD, Foreign Object Debris. The ChemCam Remote Micro Imager captured a high resolution image of the object showing that it is most likely a benign piece of plastic or shrink tube left over from a terminated wire. This could have possibly come from the rover or from the descent stage separation event during landing. Curiosity processed the scoop sample through Chimera, our labyrinth of passageways at the end of the arm that we used to sieve and portion the soil sample. We did some internal sandblasting by vibrating the sample at different orientations of the turret in order to remove any internal contamination. The team dropped the first scoop off to the left side of the rover, and in upcoming SOLs we will make our first attempt to drop off sample to the observation tray and the chemin instrument. We plan to be at Rock Nest for the coming week to complete our scoop activities, and then we'll get back on the road to Glen Elg, where we'll be looking for our first rock to drill. That's your Curiosity Rover Report. Check back soon for more updates.